My name is Will Hiesinger. I'm a cardiac surgeon at Stanford, and I'm the surgical director of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Center. The goal of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Center is to give the best treatment possible to patients with this very specific disease. And more generally, it's to make people feel healthy and lead happy lives. And ultimately, that's the goal for everything I do. I want patients to be able to live the quality of life that they want. Hi, I'm Dr. Victoria Parikh. I am the director of the Stanford Center for Inherited Cardiovascular Disease. HCM, or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, is a heart muscle disease that's characterized by too much thickening of the heart muscle and really too much squeezing of the heart muscle, which is funny because we generally think that patients with heart failure have really big, baggy hearts that can't squeeze very well. But in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, their hearts are almost working too well, and that can lead them to have problems like obstruction in their heart, where it's hard for blood to leave the heart and get to the other vital organs of the body. I'm Ewan Ashley. I'm the founding director of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Center here at Stanford. It's a disease that affects families, often across multiple generations, and so standard clinics uh, are not well equipped to handle the specific challenges. These patients require uh, multidisciplinary care, so they will often require input from multiple doctors. And so being able to have a centre where one patient or one family can come and see all the subspecialists that they would need to see to get good care uh, was really our aim. One of the greatest things about working at the Stanford HCM Centre is that we have built an ecosystem in which the patient is the centre and the multidisciplinary team around them supports them through their journey of diagnosis with HCM all the way through the relief of their symptoms. Having had some time with an HCM specialist cardiologist means that they've really been able to try medications with an expert who knows how to titrate them. And if that doesn't work, then that means that it's time to consider a surgical option. And we're so lucky to work with a, a really experienced myectomy surgery team. What that means is that they are doing this same procedure so many times and so many more times than other surgical teams might be doing it throughout the year, that their complication rates are extremely low and our patients have fantastic outcomes. My name is Audie Mendez. Well, I've been having heart problems for a long time. I uh, lived with the pain in my back and my uh, breathlessness, my tiredness for many years. About three to four years ago, uh, the, my cardiologist uh, put a name to it, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and he said it was obstructive and referred me to Stanford. Surgery was Stanford a year ago, and during this past year I've had great results. I've been able to walk and go out and do things. My quality of life has been much better with, this, with the surgery. Septal myectomy to me is one of the most rewarding operations I do. You'll take somebody who can barely walk up a flight of stairs, who is severely limited in their day-to-day -day life, and after the surgery, even sometimes in the hospital, they'll say, I feel like a new person. I can breathe again. The surgery renewed me after the surgery. I couldn't believe it. I felt 20 years younger. I just, I could walk. I could not have, uh, not be out of breath. But the surgery was, uh, was helped me out a lot. I wish I'd have done it sooner. In many cases, we can find the molecular cause of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the, the single letter in the patient's genome that causes the entire condition. And we have specialists who are able to help map the family tree and understand who in the family is at risk and who is not. My daughters uh, are already having some symptoms, so I'm able to, by learning what I have learned about this disease, able to tell them to go to their cardiologist, check into it, see if they have it, so they don't have to go through all of the things that I went through for so many years, that they can uh, take care of this, with hopefully with medication, but if not, with a surgery. So many patients are suffering with, say, shortness of breath or chest pain, and they don't know that they're suffering from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And in the past, maybe that didn't matter much, but now we have really good treatments. We can improve people's quality of life dramatically if we know they have the condition. Thank you.